The government says it's planning to spend an extra £100 million on security in prisons in England and Wales. It's the latest. The leader of Hong Kong has warned that violent protests will push the city down a path of no return. Carrie Lam. When it's when a natural, it's when you're posing the, the 150 hug, years ago was a natural hug. That's like, can you pose for a hug? Yeah. You just can you just go, do some yeah. more hugging? More. Yeah. I uh, think we should recreate the hug on the sofa this morning. How awkward would you feel? Yeah, incredible. extremely. Yeah, exactly. We don't. We don't. We don't, you, we don't hug. When you watch other people <laughs> awkwardly hug, it's one of the best things ever. Isn't exactly. It? I've got a mate who goes in with the shoulder. Can't, no. Can't even go full frontal. Just no. That sort of, you know, <laughs> <anyway>. <laughs> this is getting worse the more I talk about it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I think you should keep going, and we should take a picture. Well, somebody came in to do a, um, a press picture of Louise and I once and they said, what? They, they they said, said, can you like hug or something? And we said in unison, <laughs> we don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best thing about it without any kind of <laughs> negotiation or, um, because we just sit it's too just, close. It's just the rules. <laughs> we're, very, we're very friendly with each other as you well know, Sal. I we love it. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Actually, what happens is I nudge him often by mistake and he goes, yeah. <laughs> You'll notice everybody at home, if we ever take a picture on the sofa and I sit next to Dan, on purpose I put my arm around him just to make him feel awkward. <laughs> I don't mind, I don't mind. It's, yeah, it's yeah. fine. Anyway, Andy Murray. I don't want to invade your personal space. Yeah, I invade yours all the time. Yeah, okay. Andy Murray. It's very unfair. <laughs> Andy Murray is disappointed he lost on his return to singles tennis. But he says that disappointment is a good thing as he continues what... signed by the retailers to try and change business rates. And like you say, very unusual that they're working together yeah. on it. So, Steph, thank you very much. Uh, I'm sitting next to somebody who loves a bit of fresh air. I love fresh air. It yes. doesn't matter the weather, it's wonderful. But um, I suppose one of the issues is uh, the tension between those who like a good walk mm -hmm. and those who like to get on their bikes. Yes, the charity uh, Cycling UK says confusion about who can use certain paths and trails is the main cause of that and is calling for reform of access legislation. Tim Muffet reports. Welcome to Breakfast with Louise Minchin and Dan Walker this morning. Our headlines for you at 7 o'clock. Calls to ban... Tuesday the 13th of August, our top story, drivers could be banned from using hands-free mobile phones in England and Wales. A group of MPs is suggesting this. The Commons Transport Committee warns current laws are giving the misleading impression that devices are safe to use. This comes after a steady rise in the number of deaths and serious injuries in accidents involving drivers using phones at the wheel. Our transport correspondent Tom Burridge has the story. England and Wales. The government says it wants to introduce airport-style security like X-ray scanners and more metal detectors in more jails. It's the latest in a series of pledges of money for the criminal justice system which have been made since Boris Johnson became Prime Minister. Our Home Affairs correspondent, June Kelly, has the story. Well, that was Carol for keeping us company today. Thank you. We're going to get some fresh air now. Oh, sorry. Oh, yep. Turning on. We're going uh, out and about. Because here's a, here's a question for you. When you're walking, are you considerate about others? And when you're cycling, do you think about people who are walking or, you know, whatever else you might be? Could some people could be on a horse. We're talking about off road And we should be speaking to uh, the chairman of the Prison Governors Association. Just a few minutes for you with more on that story. Seven minutes past seven. A vaccine to protect against chlamydia has passed initial safety tests. It's the first... The UK can avoid severe disruption in the event of a no-deal Brexit, according to the head of one of the UK's leading retailers. That's Lord... If you're a fan of Paddington Bear, you might want to keep your eyes on loose change over the next few weeks because the Royal Mint is releasing some new coins which feature the... ...government has today. <laughs> Hello. Well, what of a pause. Yes. <laughs> Boris Johnson government has today promised yet more money to get tough on crime. He's announced £100 million of investment to put towards security in prisons. Well, as we said, to talk to us about how that money could be best spent, we've got the president of the Prison and Governors Association with us this morning, Andrew Elbert, who's... 
stopping that supply line. Um, if you want to get in touch with that about that this morning, that would be great. Also, um, we're talking, aren't we, about uh, mobile phones and hands-free mobile phones and MPs discussing whether or not you know the law is clear or people are clear mm. about the law that they cannot be used in cars. We've yeah. been talking about that throughout the morning. And also, that, uh, it's, it's an interesting side to it is, are there any calls that are essential calls? Because they sort of say, if you're, if you're ringing to tell somebody that you're going to be late, which would then stop you from potentially taking yeah. a few more risks on your way home, or wherever you're going, is that a call that is that is worth making? Does that sort of cross the safety boundary? Um, let us know what you think. I'm sure you have opinions on that. Um, I it was really cold this morning, Carol. You did warn me, but yes, you were, and you were right. Good morning. Good. Um, and it's really I can't believe it feels so like this in August, but that is the fact. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Uh, let's have a little look at uh, some of the papers for you this morning. We're going to start with the Daily Mail. Uh, those are some of the main stories in the papers this morning. Have you seen there was one picture I wanted to show you as well? Have you seen this? This is um Oh, this is a British this summer like, holiday, isn't this, it? This reminds me of many summer holidays. <laughs> me too. Have a look at this. Can you see that one? But that more than seventy council which councils which have responded to a request for information do not offer uniform grants. Our consumer, consumer affairs correspondent Coletta Smith has been to Huddersfield to meet a group of parents taking matters into their own hands. Lots of you will be thinking about, um, I know it's summer holidays for some and some people obviously in Scotland for example closer to going back to school and lots of you thinking about that. Uh, let us know what you think about school uniform. It can be ridiculously expensive can't it and mm. you know that idea of sewing on badges that's a good idea. Well, I know school uniform is one element. One of my favourite summer memories was going to get a new protractor from Dan Perry Smith. I used to love that. I know, I, I know what you mean. And getting new stationery and Oh, a new little set of HB pencils. <laughs> uh, <laughs> send us your school memories as well. 23 minutes past seven. You are watching Breakfast from BBC News and still to come this morning. Um, could opening up more of Britain's countryside footpaths to cyclists help improve relations between riders and other users? Uh, Tim Muffy. Hello, good morning. You're watching Breakfast with Louise and Dan. Just coming up to 7.30, the main stories from BBC News this morning. Drivers could be banned from using hands-free mobile phones in England. A lovely, it's a lovely picture, lovely it story. Is, isn't it? Yeah. I, I noticed about half an hour ago, you, during the regional news, what did you I do? sprinted out of the studio, and I believe it was to get some of Sally Nugent's banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> It is nicer, isn't it? <laughs> I had some, I mean, I I had some about half five different. this morning. Yeah. It's thought, good. It's I haven't gone. finished it. It's gone already. I think it's gone. Has it? It's it's, delicious. It was a good one, wasn't it? It was. Rum-soaked raisins. Shh, that's the secret. <laughs> You're not meant to tell anyone. It was good. It was, <laughs> it was a, a real pep-up. It good. Uh, five half thirty five? this morning. Did it put a spring in your step? Yeah. Good. Um, I love, I love, do you know what, I love when they come off court and they sign these giant tennis balls. I mean, you know, we could all play tennis if it was that size. I know, and, and do you know what, lots of the players are, tennis players are great at this, aren't they? Mm. We saw with Mo Salah yesterday stopping to, you know, help a kid. Tennis players are particularly good at this. They'll stop and they will sign and sign oh. and sign and sign for a long time. Whoever came up with those giant tennis balls, an absolute Clever. genius. Because they're not cheap, I can tell you. There you go. Anyway, Andy Murray says he is disappointed to lose. Excellent. They're doing it up at Glen Eagles, aren't they? Where they have um, they've closed the course they're playing on for a while, so they can cut, make it all well, perfectly it perfect. prepared. And they've actually made the fairways tartan fairways. They've cut brilliant. Them. Oh, they are. They look. Sen I'll find the picture for you. But it it's, looks gorgeous it, yeah. at the best of times, Glen Eagles, doesn't yeah. it? But it's fantastic facility. It's going to be great. That. Thank you very much for the sound. Now, the last uh, 10 days have been desperately worrying for the family of Nora Corrin, the 15-year-old with special needs who's gone missing in Malaysia. As the search for the teenager continues, her parents are offering a £10,000 reward now for anyone with information leading to her safe return. Let's speak right now to Jim Gamble, who's a child protection ex supporting the family. How are they doing? Well, th presumably it's those first hours that are really crucial. Well, I, I also said at the beginning that there's two... Thank you. Really interesting questions those this morning, aren't they? Uh, let's find out what's happening with the weather. It's uh, approaching a quarter to eight, and Carol has got some lovely pictures from our weather watchers all week. There's another one. Good morning, Carol. Good day, Stanley Lou. 
We've already had one wet and windy weekend, Carol. I mean, I know it's not your fault, uh, but thank you very much for the warning anyway. Thank you. I hope you're not blaming Carol. No, never. Never. Never her fault. Uh, we've spoken a lot about the high street on breakfast and what changes individual retailers want. And today, almost 50 of them sort of come together and they've got a joint plea, Steph, going to the government. Is that right, morning? Yes, morning. This is all to do with business rates. It's something that I particularly talking about uh, off-road cycling today. And the charity Cycling UK says confusion about who can use certain paths and trails is a cause of tension as it calling for reform of access legislation. Tim Muffet is in the Flandegla Forest this morning and can find out a bit more for us. Good morning. And the, they've been on their bikes all morning there, Tim. Um, lots of people. Great, it? Yeah, it's really nice. Great cafe. Um, <laughs> um, lots of people <laughs> getting in touch um, about that and do keep in your um, sending in your thoughts. Um, Jane says it concerns me cyclists might be able to have further access, possibly on public footpaths, as a dog walker and someone she says who used to cycle. We find lots of cyclists are rude, think they're in the paths. We step aside so that they don't need to dismount. But I mean, I'm sure lots of other cyclists as well. Uh, you might want to get in touch and, and talk about it too. Thanks very much. Like most things in life, a little bit of consideration for others goes a long way, doesn't it? Yeah, very good point. Just be nice. <laughs> Just be nice and the world's normally a better place. Slow down, be nice. Yeah. Uh, time now to get the news and the travel, wherever you are.